Let's do a little bit of fraction, percent, and decimal conversion. This stuff is great. Filling in these charts. Look, if you get a fraction and you have to turn it to a percent, you have to understand percent means it's out of 100. And if the fraction is not out of 100, you have to make it turn into a fraction that's out of 100. You have to do your best. 3 out of 4, that's pretty simple. Just times by 25. And whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. So doing that will get you 75 over 100. And since it's out of 100, we just write 75%. Once you have the percent, all you have to do is find the decimal. Where's the decimal? I don't see a decimal. Well, if you don't see the decimal, it's always at the end over here. So it's going to be here. I just popped it in there and move it back twice. That's the same as dividing by 100. Okay, again, back to the idea of 100. See, it says divide by 100. So you move the decimal back twice and you get 0 0.75. That's one way to do it. The other way to do it is to look at your fraction and read it properly. Don't say 75 out of 100. Say 75 hundredths. Okay? And then look at your decimal values. 75 tenths. Hundredths. Remember the first spot after the decimal is called the, what is it? The tenths. And the second spot is called the hundredths. So we have 75 what? We have 75 hundredths. And that's another legitimate way to convert. Here we're given a percent. We can turn it into a decimal by finding the decimal in here and moving it back twice. That'll get us 0 0.28, which is 28 out of 100. If you see a percent symbol, you know it's out of 100. But that's not good enough because you have to reduce it. And what goes into both? We could chop them both in half since they're even numbers. That'll get us 14 over 50. And they're both even again, so we can chop them in half. That'll get us 7 out of 25. And that is the best answer. Third question we have, oh, let's read this. Tenths, hundredths. So we're going to write 4 out of 100. We leave it like that, right? Nuh-uh. You got to convert it. You got to reduce it, baby. You got to go 2 out of 50, which breaks down to 1 over 25. Keep breaking them in half. Or just divide by 4 to begin with, and that'll save you a step. But my percent, look, it's beautiful. It's already set up out of 100. I just write 4%. How about 3 out of 8? Oh, no, Mr. M, you can't multiply 8 to get 100. Yeah, I know. You know what we have to do here? We have to use long division. Oh, no, you don't have... You're not telling me, Mr. M, you're going to make me do long division, are you? Oh, I'm telling you, you got to do long division. you got to go 3 on the inside. Put that 8 on the outside. Now, I'm going to go fast here. I'm going to assume you know what's going on. So, we're going to go 8 goes into 3, 0 times. That makes 0. Drop this here. 8 into 30 is what? 3. That makes 24. Subtract and drop this one. Look at that. 8 times 7 makes 56. That's pretty close. That makes 4 when you subtract. And then you drop the 0. And 8 into 40 is what? Five times. So we have 0 0.375. Oh, no, Mr. M, you put it in the wrong box. I know, I did. Let's move it out of here and put it in the decimal box. Now, what do we have to do is convert this decimal into a percent. And that's pretty simple. You just move the decimal forwards now. Two times. That's like timesing by 100. So you're going to go 1, 2, and you're going to get 37 decimal five percent let's keep rolling we have 26 and a half percent as a decimal that's pretty simple you just bounce it twice backwards and you get 0 0.265 let's turn up the heat some more turn this percent into what a fraction that's not that hard because look we have the decimal tenths Hundreds, count with me here. Tenths, hundreds, what? Thousands, good. You're going to write a thousand here. And what are you going to write on top? That's right, 265. But Mr. Malum, you said percents are always out of 100. You know what? You, you are right, and this could be written as 26.5 out of 100. But you know what? This is right, 
But it's not the best answer because we have a decimal on a fraction. That's not that nice. Either pick a decimal or a fraction. Don't do both. So what we did was we made an equivalent fraction, which is that. How do we do that? Well, we bounced the decimal here one time over to make 265, and we bounced the decimal in 100 one time over to make 1,000. Remember, whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. And so then you would just reduce that. I'm not going to waste time reducing it. You can reduce these. You can divide by all kinds of things, like 5, for example. How about this one? 0 0.125. Let's turn it to a percent. That's pretty simple. Just bounce the decimal two times, and you get what? 12.5%. Very good. Turn that into a fraction. How about we just turn the decimal to a fraction? It's way easier. Look, tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So we have 125 over what? Over a thousand. Some of you might have been like, oh, I know, percents are out of 100. So I'm going to write 12.5 out of 100. And that would be good, except you have a decimal again on top. So move the decimal one time to the right, and then do the same thing to the decimal here. And you'll get this one. They are equivalent. And then, of course, reduce this. Two out of eight. Now, what can we do with this? What do we times eight? But do we have to do long division again, Mr. M? Do we have to do what we did here because there's an eight on the bottom? You know what? That's a great question. And you could. However, I'm going to take a separate, I'm going to take a different route on this because I notice they're both even. I can reduce it to get one out of four and now that I have 4, I can times it by 25, and that's going to be by 25. I'm going to get 25 out of 100, baby. I'm going to get that, and that's going to be 25%, which is decimal 25, and that's going to be the best route to go. 124%, what do you want to do first, fraction or decimal? Decimal, okay, that's pretty simple. Find the decimal and do what with it? Move it back twice. So we're going to write 1.24. Now, how do we turn that to a fraction? There's two ways. You can look at this here and say, oh, that's a percent, and percents are always out of 100. So I'm going to write 124 out of 100. That's good. Of course, you're going to reduce it. So you can divide the... Now, look, I'm not going to do it this way here. I don't want to do all this reduction. I'm going to do the conversion from a decimal because I know that this is one whole and 24 out of 100. Mr. Malum, how do you know it's 24 out of 100? Because look, tenths, hundredths, so 24 out of 100, and then reduce it. And then you're going to get one whole, and 12 out of 50, reduce that, you're going to get 6 out of 25. And that's going to be your answer. And the last question here, oh man, Mr. Malum, you got me a 40 here, I'm going to have to do long division, it's going to suck big time. No, it's not. You know why? Because look, they are both even. Look what happens. If I break them in half, divide them both by two, I get nine over 20. Look at that 20. Can't I multiply that by five now? And I have a beautiful number I can turn into 100. I'm going to get 45 over 100. Look at that, baby. You're going to get 45% because it's 45 out of 100. And now it's decimal 45. Yes. Let's do a couple word problems and then call it a day. Jan had 18 questions correct on a test worth 25 marks. What is her percent? Okay, not bad. She got 18 and the total on the test was 25. What's her percent? That's not a hard question to do if you did the chart on the last page. Times by 4, times by 4, you're going to get 100 on the bottom. What are you going to get on top? What, what are you going to get? Yeah, 4 times 8 is 32. Carry the 3, 72 out of 100, which is 72%. Convert her mark into a decimal. That's not that bad, right? Life is good, you know? You just move the decimal back twice. You get decimal 72. Mr. Malm, how do you know where the decimal was? I don't see a decimal. Remember, if you don't see a decimal, it's always sitting at the end here. How about my main man, Ben Scrivens? He stopped 38 out of 40 shots. That's pretty good total. He stopped. He faced 40 shots. He's with the Oilers. You know, he's got to get used to that sort of thing every day. What was his save percentage that night? Do we have to do long division here? We don't. You know why? Because they're both even. And I know if I cut 40 in half, 
I divide by two, both of them, I'm going to get a 20 on the bottom, and I like 20s because I can turn them into hundreds, and on the top I'm going to get 19. I times this by what? Right? And times this, what are you going to get? You're going to get what? 95 over what? 100, which is 95%. Convert his save percentage into a decimal, which is the way hockey statisticians write percentages of goaltender saves. They write them as decimals. That's going to be decimal nine five hey did you know if i add a zero it's still the same number i can add as many as i want it doesn't change my answer but we don't need to we just write decimal nine five we got two more to go kobe bryant he's kind of kind of losing it i watched the last game it's kind of rough for him you know he's missing every shot literally every shot kobe bryant scored on five out of eight free throws he wishes these days he scored on 5 out of 8. What was his free throw percentage? Okay, so he got 5 and the total was 8. Oh, okay, I guess we have to do long division. We can't break this down. There, This is odd. This is even. Okay, so let's do long division. We're going to go 5 divided by 8. And that's going to be decimal 0, 0. Let's do this really quick. See if you can beat me to it. We're going to get 5. Bring this down. That's going to be 6. 48, oh, I'm busting into the next question. 2 becomes 20. Let's put 2 here. That makes 16. And then bring this 0 down. I'm going to get 6, 2, 5. Did you beat me? Did you get through this faster than me? If you did, pretty good. I'm proud of you. What was his free throw percentage? Well, this is the percentage, right? No, this is the decimal. We have to convert that decimal to a percentage. And we're going to get what? 62.5%. Now convert it into a decimal. Well, we kind of did it already. It's 0 0.625. And the last question. Taylor Hall had eight shots last night and he scored on one of them. What's his shooting percentage? Okay, same idea. One out of eight. You're going to do some long division stuff over here. Try to beat me on this. We're going to get 1, bring the 0, now we have 10, we're going to put 1, and then go down with the 20, you've got 2 here, that makes 16, 40, we're going to get 0.125, so we'll put that as a decimal for the last one, because it asks us to do so, and this one's going to be the percentage, which is 12.5%.